Hi. I just wanted to share a little bit on the source lore that we have for the OM because things can get a bit confusing when you're looking at it because the source material that we have, you'll see mentioned um, as individual books or individual tracts, but they appear in different manuscripts and in different kind of collations. So I just wanted to do a quick run through it and maybe try and clear something up. Let's see. So the primary source that we have is Oracept Nanases or Oracept Nanases, it could be pronounced uh, with a hard C. And it's translated as the scholars or poets primer, which is a grammar or primer of Old Irish. And this doesn't survive as an independent text in the manuscripts, so it's not, um, it's not all put together. It, it survives in parts in the Book of Emain, uh, the Book of Alimos, and the Book of Lican. So there's different bits in different manuscripts that we have. And Thankfully, we do have it all put together. And this is the, the codex uh, for Celt, the online database and e-resources for Celtic studies. So it's a really useful site if you are looking for anything really uh, Celtic studies related. Um, but for our purposes here, we have a very, very handy uh, George Calder edited and translated or set Nanases. And the subtitle he gave it was The Scholar's Primer, being the text of the Om tract from the Book of Ballymote and the Yellow Book of Lican, and the text of the Three Fuckle from the Book of Leinster. And this was done in 1917. And what I really like about Calder's link here on the Codex for our Celtic Studies is that uh, we have links to the online resources. I'm just going to disappear myself up a little bit more. Uh, we have links to the online resources here, so uh, the Celt Project at UCC, the Internet Archive, which is the primary place where it lives uh, with the English translation. And we'll just see what it looks like over, oh no, that's not it, sorry. <laughs> see what it looks like over there uh, by just opening this up here. Um, but what I really like about this is it links through to the various parts of it. So this is a really useful page. And I am going to put links to everything that we're looking at on the screen. I'm going to put links to them in the description below. So don't worry um, about trying to write down the links or anything like that. Pause on the screen. So you'll see that there are different parts of it, the introduction. And this will just flip through to, um, that's not it either. Apologies. Okay, so let's flip through to our Nanases. And it just, as you see, opens up like that. And we do have the Old Irish that is smattered through with Latin as well. Um, and that has not given us a translation. That is the original text. But if we go back and we go through, say, to the Ulm tract, what we'll see is um, the original text here and then the translation on this page. So this is a really easy way to go through the information that we have in the original source material on the OM. Okay. Now, um, some of the other manuscripts that were mentioned um, the Book of Ali Mot, which we have here, which contains um, a reference to, or contains uh, in, in extant uh, the Om tract, which is in Laur Om, or it's the Book of Oms, which has really interesting uh, information in it on 100 or 92 actually in the Book of Ali Mot, um, but there's 100, a list of 100 different, they call them scales or modes of writing the OM. So you'll see that referred to as the OM tract or quoted from um, as the OM tract. And the reason that I'm going through this source material is to, you know, if you're reading um, Damien McManus or Aaron Rowan Laurie or John Paul Patton, um, or, you know, if you're doing my OM journeys course and we're going through some of the source manuscripts, 
um, some of the content that we have. I would really like you to be familiar with where that's coming from, you know. So I really do encourage you to go through this if you're interested in the OM, to go through this and at least have a look at where it's coming from. So another element of that would be the Brihurom. And the Brihurom is a group of three short Old Irish texts enumerating the kennings for the Irish letter names. So each of these is ascribed to a legendary or mythical figure. And we have Brihurom Moran Mac Moen, Brihurom Mac In Oak, and Brihurom Con Cullen. And the texts occur mainly within the Om tract that we talked about before. And they are found in the body of that text, while all three are also appended to the copies of various other manuscripts. So, like I said, you'll see, sometimes you'll see um, links to, this is giving us a link again to Calder's uh, translation of Oris Epinesis. And there will be various links that you can follow through here and really kind of start to play around with it. But really when you're starting off, um, you can look at the Oris Epinesis and not really miss anything. Um, and I do recommend, as I said, going back through this codex page and um, you know, being able to flick right to the part that you want to get to because when you are looking at the book just on the Internet Archive, um, you you can kind of get a bit lost maybe you're not really sure what's going on so it's good to have that easy reference to be able to just you know get back to where you need to go okay so hopefully that's helpful and um, you'll be able to have a play around and if you have any questions put them in the comments below or you can go to my own, uh, Learn OM Facebook group and join there and join in with a community of people who are learning the OM. And you can also have a look, there's a link below as well to register for my OM Journeys 26 week program, which only runs once a year. So you, it runs from October to March. So if you miss the September registration, then you have to wait till next year, but you can still put your name and email in to register for next year and to get on my mailing list, where you'll get all sorts of interesting, authentic Irish resources, just like this. So it's long a fold, and I hope that was helpful. And do give it a like and subscribe and like the channel for, again, more like this. And give it a share around if you find it useful. Okay? Gromagat, slangafol.